Welcome to Microsoft Access 2010 Beginner Level 9, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Ross. Today's class is going to focus on building a contact history for your customers. Every time you interact with a customer, whether it's a phone call, an office visit, and so on, you want to track that in your database. That's building a contact history. We'll start out by building a simple contact table and form. We'll discuss data integrity in your database. We'll build a contact query. We'll learn how to show records between two dates and how to set up explicit query parameters. We'll spend a lot of time building a contact report. We'll learn about the different sections, the report header, the page header. We'll learn about the can grow and can shrink properties and lots more. And we'll learn a ton of miscellaneous tips and tricks, including string concatenation, page numbering, and lots more. This class follows Microsoft Access 2010 Beginner Level 8. I strongly recommend you take Level 8 and all of the previous classes before beginning this course. In Level 8, we learned about combo boxes, list boxes, tab order, and lots more. Today's class will be using Microsoft Access 2010. Most of what I'm going to be showing you today works just fine in 2007. If you're using 2003 or earlier, you can probably figure everything from today's class out. Some of the menus will be different, obviously, but most of the material should be the same. While I strongly encourage you to build the database that I build in class, if you're lazy like me, you can download the sample database from the website at accesslearningzone.com databases. My courses are broken up into four groups, beginner, expert, advanced, and developer. My beginner courses are for novice users who have little or no experience with Microsoft Access. They are designed to give you an overview of the basic features of Access and cover just what you need to know to be productive. The expert classes are designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with Access. Expert classes go into a lot more depth about each topic than the beginner classes do and will cover more functions, features, tips, and techniques for power users. Once you've mastered the expert classes, move up to the advanced lessons. You'll learn how to work with macros, automation, and many more advanced features that really add enhanced functionality and professionalism to your databases. Finally, my developer level courses are designed to teach you how to program in Visual Basic for Microsoft Access. This will allow you to create the most advanced databases possible and unlock the true potential of Microsoft Access. Each series is broken down into different numbered levels, starting with level one. Each subsequent level teaches you new and different topics in Microsoft Access, building on the lessons learned in the previous classes. Once you've finished all the beginner classes, move up to the expert series, then the advanced, and finally, the developer lessons. In addition to my normal Access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, and lots more. You can find complete details on all these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course using my custom video player software or the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos, as long as you have an active internet connection. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them and comments that other students may have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. If you're not watching the lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend that you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects 
until you've mastered the sample database from this class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In today's class, we're going to build a basic contact manager. In lesson one, we'll start by creating the contact table and form. In lesson two, we'll build a query to show contacts for a single date, and we'll learn about explicit query parameters. In lesson three, we're going to learn how to create a contact report. We're going to see how to build a report from scratch. In lesson four, we're continuing with the contact report. We're going to learn about the can, grow, can, shrink properties and string concatenation. In lesson five, we're finishing up with our contact report. We're going to cover a bunch of miscellaneous topics, including line thickness, page numbering, section background colors, report headers and footers, and lots more.